Okay, uh, answer any tree. When it rains on land, some of the rain soaks into the land and the best runs off the land. The runoff curve C is a number used when estimating the amount of rain that runs off a particular area of land. C is given by that, where S is measure of the maximum amount of rain that gets on the side. Okay, find the value of C when S is 15. Hmm, okay. So S is 15. So C equals 1,000 over s is 15 so 15 plus 10 is 25 so it's just it's just it's just a thousand divided by 25 which is what that 40 isn't it yeah 40. Okay. when s increases does c increase or decrease so it decreases because fractions are smaller when the new the denominator increases are smaller as the denominator increases. Okay. Rearrange the equation to write S in terms of C. Okay, so C equals a thousand over S plus ten. Cross multiplying, we get S plus 10 equals 1,000 over C. So S would be 1,000 over C minus 10. The value for C goes from 30 to 100. Use your previous answer to find the range for S. Okay, so it's just a matter of putting in, um, what is it, 30 and 100. So 1,000 over 30 minus 10 and a thousand over a hundred minus 10. So a thousand over 30 minus 10 is 70 over three. And then replacing with a hundred, this is zero. So the range would be zero to 70 over three. Do they want decimals? They don't say, which is interesting. So I'll just say 70 over 3, which is roughly 23.3 recurring. Yeah, that surprised me. 30. Yeah, the 30 is making the decimal because you're dividing 1,000 by 30. And it is, it is, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I'm right. Over the course of one day, the probability that it is raining in Waterfill can be modeled by this function, where t is between 0 and 24. Write down the probability that it's raining at the start and the end of the day. That is p0 and p24. Okay, no problem. I can do that. p0, we just sub in 0, we get 0 0.3. And p24, we just sub in 24. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.02 times 24, and that's 0 0.78. Find the value of p derivative and explain what the value means. Oh, that's a very bad question. Very, very bad question. And the derivative will be 0 0.02. And the explanation is it's the rate of increase in probability per hour throughout the day during the day ah oh, yeah no that's that's terrible that's a really terrible question uh, okay at a certain time the probability that it's raining uh, is 0 0.35 work out the probability that it's raining exactly one hour later Okay, so we first need to figure out when the 0.35 happens. So, so when does 0.3 plus 0.0, okay, so when does 0.3 plus 0.02 t equal a 0 0.35? So that would be 0 0.02 t. If we take that to the right and subtract, that's 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.02 
is 2.5, but it says work out probably that it's raining exactly one hour later. So we have to put in T is 3.5. So we have to calculate of this. Oh, but you know what? Actually, because of what they just said in the previous answer, <laughs> oh, I just realized I did it the long way. I, uh, I could have just added, could have just added 0 0.02 to my answer. The answer is going to end up being 0 0.37, isn't it? Um, uh, yeah, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.02 times 3.5 is 0 0.37. I didn't have to do all that work. It's just 0.35 plus 0.02. That's 0.37. That was the point of doing the previous B1 and B2. Okay. Uh, okay, eight.